First Week Radio does not own copyright for this copyrighted material, but under Section 107 United States Copyright Law, as noted by the United States Copyright Office, Copyright Act 1976, this video and the music it contains is for entertainment purposes only. And then you guys are throwing around racial slurs for no reason, like nobody's doing nothing to you. Because you guys are always starting stuff. Okay, that's always. Okay, so it's a real question. Always. Okay. Yeah, always. Okay. But you were screaming this morning on the balcony. You're screaming. You might be like, you might be like, going in. Are you 100% here? Yeah. I'm here with you right here. I see you right there. I see you right there. I see your, I see your bitch right there recording me. I see you, nigga. I see you. Oh, you're 40 years old. I'm not okay. Wait, but you guys understand that we're not trying to do anything to you guys. Do the same age as my kids. We all we all are full. Why are you arguing with people that are the same age as your kids? Okay. I'm not going to say that. Okay. 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 I, you don't have to control me. I'm controlled. Okay, well, back up from our window. Okay. This is, okay. This is, so, back up. This is in our space. This is our safe house. house. And you're in your space. space. Look, there's a, there's a screen. There's a screen. Now it's left. Now it's left. Yeah. Oh my god, okay. A professor at Sac State, and this is what you're doing? This is what you're doing? Uh, wait, what? Wow, wow, just wow. And so it's just a lot of tension. Um between the races these days in the United States of this here America, but not just in the United States, all across the world, y'all. But I'm sure that everyone has heard of the story of Ahmad Arbery, jogger, jogging through predominantly white neighborhood, stopped at a construction site. Two white men decided they're gonna take it upon themselves to make a citizen's arrest, Gregory McMichael, and his son, Travis McMichael. And the person that's recording the video, um, his name is William Roddy um, Bryan. William Roddy Bryan. He, 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 he said he's getting death threats. He's afraid of his life, afraid for his life. He said he had nothing to do with the video of the killing of Ahmad Aubrey which was recorded in February of 2020, February 23rd of 2020. But the McMichaels didn't get arrested until May 8th of 2020. And this caused an uproar across the world, all across the world. The McMichaels were finally arrested and now they're actually calling for um, the other guy's arrest. There's so much racial tension going on in the United States of this America. In 2018, these two young black men were killed.
killed by four whites. Jerron Moreland was 21, and Alize Smith was also 21. I think that's how you spell his name, Alize. Um, they were killed by two brothers, white, white or Hispanic or whatever, and they tried to cover it up. They went to, uh, I don't know, I haven't done much research, but I will have a video on this soon. But they tried to cover up the killing of these brothers here. And we saw in the beginning, Deuteronomy 28, 37, mentioned bywords. Byword. Deuteronomy 28 is the history of the American slave who are descendants of the Hebrew children. Deuteronomy 28, 37 says, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the land shall lead thee, whether the Lord shall lead thee. I keep saying land again, and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Because you all know that the Hebrew children were sent into bondage all throughout the history of the Bible. And the transatlantic slave trade speaks of the disbursement of Hebrew children to the four corners of the earth in the slave of belly ships. In the, in the belly of slave ships. Wow, I can't even talk. This is my history, y'all. This is the history of my people. Black people in America are descendants of Hebrew children. And that's why we are being discriminated against, have always been discriminated against. They don't like us. It's a perpetual hatred. No one likes us. So now it's time for us to stop shucking and jiving and come together and work some things out amongst ourselves. The definition of byword is embodiments, the embodiment, oh wait, a person or thing cited as a notorious and outstanding example or embodiment of something such as his name became a byword for luxury. A perfect example or um, classic case of model So another word is a word or expression summarizing a thing, a thing's characteristic or a person's principle, such as small is beautiful, may be the bad word for most, uh, I don't know, courti courtiers. Um, or a nigger can be a bad word. Monkey, donkey, you know, they call us all types of bad words other than what we are the people who was dispersed to the four corners of this earth on slave ship because of their disobedience to their God, the Most High Yah. And he is still reaching out to us today through this coronavirus pandemic that has, has spread across the world and the racism that is going on across this world. There is so much racism going on in this world today and especially against the dark-skinned people. And what I don't understand is when we try to defend themselves, when we try to defend ourselves against racist people, we are the ones that are considered racist. When we fight back, we get in trouble. When we fight back, we get in trouble. But now the thing that gets me is this professor and his wife who was drunk and calling this black man a nigger and saying their apartments stink and all kinds of things about these people. Now they want to apologize. Now they want to apologize. And I am so sick and tired of dry apologies. That's what I call 
a dry apology, people. You cannot call me a nigga and then the next minute apologize for it. And then call me a nigga again the next day. You just can't do it. The video was recorded by Michaela Cobb. I'm not taking credit for this video, but she recorded it. And now the people, the professor and his wife, well, the professor want to sit down and apologize after the video of he his racist wife went viral. Tim Ford, who's, who teaches at Sacramento State, claimed his wife had entered hospital, had entered the hospital for, for um, alcohol and drug abuse on Friday in the wake of the embarrassing clip. The video was posted on Facebook by the couple's neighbor, Michaela Cobb who claimed they verbally attacked her and her boyfriend over the smell of bacon grease. Oh my word. You see how people, white people, all of a sudden think that they can confront us and treat and talk to us any kind of way. Y'all see it? Y'all see it? Why do they feel like that they can treat us any kind of way? And then turn around and apologize for it. Now that you're under fire, you apologizing for harassing this young couple who was mad in their business, in their own apartment. She walks up to their window, invading their space, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. So now I'm wondering if she will accept his apology. And I hope she don't because, like I said, I am so sick and tired of dry apologies. The, the president of the, of the university, he said that he, he, he actually warned them that he didn't want to hear anything else about it. If he hear anything else about it, Shorty, you gone. I feel you should have been fired anyway. If you have, if they haven't fired your butt already, you should be fired. Now you want to apologize after your behavior, drunk or not. You are a college professor, and now you want to apologize for your racist, the, your racist rant, and your wife's racist rant, saying that. Uh, you don't agree with her, the words that she chose. Sure you don't. I don't believe you, Professor. I don't believe you. Let me see what his name is again. Um, Tim Ford says his wife checked into a drug rehab facility. Uh, I wonder if he checked himself in too. Because it looked like he had a beer in his hand. That he happened to, th he threw the beer at the couple's window. He threw the beer at the couple's window. Now, imagine if that was a black couple doing that to a white couple. Imagine that. They will probably hang us. But like I said, I am so sick and tired of their dry apologies and then the apologies just don't seem genuine at all and we always the ones that forgive we always the ones that forgive
I am so mad at her for forgiving them. Why? Why? For once, why can't we just turn to them and say, no, I don't forgive you. I don't forgive Amber Gaia. She got only 10 years murder sentence for fatally shooting Botham, Botham Jean in his own apartment, in his own home, in the comforts of his own home, said he was sitting there having ice cream. Botham Jean or John was 26 years old. Why can't we say, no, I do not accept your apology, Erin Dean, for murdering a Tatiana Jefferson in her own home, in the comforts of her own home? No, I don't forgive you. Why do I have to forgive you for your hatred? A Tatiana Jefferson was only 28 years old. We are so forgiving. In my email address, in, re in reference to Amog Aubrey, I received um, a message from Sean King. I really didn't know who Sean King was and didn't know why he was writing me or emailing me. Um, but then I thought about a petition that I signed online for Ahmad called um, runwithahmad.com. That's where the petition is. Um, it's just to help ensure that justice is served. It's run with Maud, M A U D, runwithmaud.com. Please go there, sign the petition if you feel like you need to do something. If you don't know what to do, then that's, that's a good start. But I didn't know who Sean King was, <clears throat> and so I did my homework. And I found that he is an activist who uses social media to, you know, get points across and get things done in situations like this. In the email, I wanted to share because this is very important. Um, it says, I'm just going to read it to you. It says, we just concluded the single largest social demonstration during the entire pandemic, but to get justice for Ahmad Arbery, we can't let up. Hundreds of thousands of people ran for Ahmad Arbery, Arbery all over the world. Thanks to people like us who's coming together. It goes on to say, but listen, our work is not done. That is why we're organizing an important case update on a live broadcast happening this Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time from 6 to 3, 6 p.m. Eastern Time and 3 p.m. Pacific Time. So I went and signed up and it's a reservation, a reserved spot. So it says Gregory and Travis McMichael's accomplice, William Roley Bryan, hasn't been charged or arrested yet. We need to keep press, pressing on the federal level to make sure these men are charged for their hate crime. And DA Jackie Johnson should be disbarred and removed from office for blocking the arrest on day one, the day Ahmad was murdered. And that was February 23rd. 
2020. If we keep the pressure, we can get justice for Ahmad Arbery and his family. Already, Gregory and Travis were finally arrested. Georgia's Attorney General just filed a formal request for the U.S. Department of Justice to investigate the case. That wouldn't have happened without millions of people like us signing petitions, making phone calls, and running in solidarity. So if you want me to, I can forward this email to you so that you can have a reserved spot to view live broadcast updates. It's happening on Wednesday. I think it's happening on Instagram. Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. And I think, yes, it's going to be headlined by Sean King. And of course, they are asking for donations. And if I could, I would. Like, this is something that I would uh, um, invest in. Spend my money in. And so, if you want to be a part of this live update on Wednesday, which is probably tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, it's on 13th, May 13th. Oh, that's tomorrow. Yes. Hit me up ASAP or Google it. You should be able to find it. You should be able to find it. But the petition is runwithmod.com. You all, you all can go there, sign the petition, show your support. And it to ensure that Maul and others like him in the future, because there will be others, get justice. It's your girl, B Sparrow. But Sweet Radio, y'all take it e easy. Be careful. Love on one another. Stop hating one another. And holler if you hear me. Thank <laughs> you.